everybody, today I'll be showing you the top 5 weirdest scratch projects ever. The first project is called Flappy Bird by Hyperpixel. And on the surface, it just looks like normal Flappy Bird remake. You control the bird and you have to dodge the pipes to gain points. You might be thinking, this should have a fair amount of code, right? You would be dead wrong. If you see inside, there is literally no code in any of these sprites. Literally, how is this possible? Very mysterious project. The next project is called Useful Hack Blocks by Philippus. And when you see inside, you'll see a bunch of these blocks that don't actually exist. For example, the all at once block. It looks like it should belong to controls, but if you go there, you'll see that it is missing. All of these are the same. And this guy made some crazy blocks, like this one. Drawing two colors and touching color that reads hex. This is just insane. And this block is just crazy. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. You can turn your video sideways, set instrument to a number, and much much more. Now these are the ones that actually work. The next one is just for fun. So these ones actually don't work. So for example, one green flag of 10, you can set saturation, pointillize, stretch, and you can hide all sprites. There's even just define, scroll up, scroll right, and look at that, there's a bunch of fab blocks. The next one is more keys, so it explains itself basically, so you just have more keys you can have. And these ones are actually from another scratcher called Critchia. I'm sorry if that, I pronounced that wrong. The next project is called You Cannot Comment Version 1.4 by Cloud Codes. And when you start the project, it tells us to turn on turbo mode. In case you don't know, that is shift plus green flag. And now when you try to leave a comment, it literally doesn't let us. And if you're wondering, this is the code. And it's only this. So that's impressive. The next project is a famous one. You guys probably know it. It's Untitled One by the one, the only Griff Patch. And this was posted on April Fool's Day. And look at that amount of loves and views. You might be thinking, this is probably, you know, a normal Griff Patch project, really good quality. But it is just a scratch cat. No code, not even in the backdrops, and it's only the pop sound. So nothing happens. And this has so many remixes, it even lags my computer to even click on it. The reason everybody loved and faved it is because of course it was just an April Fool's Day prank. The funny thing about the remixes is that they made actual projects like Jumper, Griff Patch Platformer, Super Mario Bros. The Red Warrior, a platformer, so that's pretty funny. The next one isn't actually on the main Scratch website anymore. So on Scratch Stats, when you go to the most viewed projects, you'll see all the classic ones, but then you'll see some that are out of place. For example, Dot Dance by Mungo Jelly. 30 likes, 9 million views, and Hunted by Spazman. 119 likes, 4 million views. So these are taken down now, so if you click on them, it's going to tell us, whoops, our server is scratching its head. But these used to be on the main website, and both of these accounts are inactive now, so that's really weird. And if you scroll down, you'll find some others too. For example, Pong Faceoff. 20 likes, 2 million views. I think this was a glitch from scratch, but I'm not really sure about that. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this.